Hello friends and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. In my previous tutorial I've made this cute teddy bear keychain. To complement the look of my bear I crocheted a small bow. Now I'll show you how to crochet these mini balls to decorate your amigurumi. You can use some yarn leftovers in different colors and weights. Depending on the yarn weight you will need different crochet hook. If you use thinner yarn, you will have a smaller bow. And if you use chunky yarn, the result will be a bigger bow. In the tutorial, I will show you three different sizing, sizes using three different types of yarn and crochet hooks. Let's get started. <music> For the first bow, I am using fine or sport weight yarn and 2.5 mm crochet hook. Leave a long initial tail, then make a magic ring. Chain 3, then crochet 5 double crochet into the magic ring. Chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the magic ring. Again chain 3 stitches then crochet another 5 double crochet and again chain 3 stitches. the initial tail to close the ring. Then finish with a slip stitch in the first chain you've made at the beginning. Leave a long tail. Pull once again if it's needed to close completely the ring. Then take the final yarn end and wrap it few times around the bow center. Now take the initial tail and again wrap it few times around the bow center. Use a darning needle and poke through the yarn tail below the wrapped part. Finally make a knot. Use the yarn ends to sew the bow to your amigurumi. For the second bow I'm using worsted yarn and 4 mm crochet hook. Now we just have to repeat the same steps we did for the first bow. Leave a long initial tail, then make a magic ring. Chain 3 chain stitches then crochet 5 double crochet into the magic ring.
again chain 3 chain stitches and make a slip stitch into the magic ring. Again chain 3 loops then crochet another 5 double crochet into the magic ring. Then again chain 3 chain stitches. Finish with a slip stitch into the first chain you've made at the beginning. Pull the initial tail to close the magic ring, then leave a long tail. Take the final yarn tail and wrap it few times around the bow center. Then take the initial tail and wrap it few times again around the bow center. Use a darning needle and poke through the yarn tail below the wrapped yarn. Finally make a knot to complete the bow. Now let's crochet the third bow. I'm going to use super bulky yarn and 6 mm crochet hook. Again, repeat the same steps you did for the previous two bows. Leave a long initial tail, then make a magic ring. Chain 3 chain stitches, then crochet 5 double crochet into the magic ring. Again chain 3 loops and make a slip stitch into the magic ring. Chain another 3 chain stitches then crochet 5 double crochet into the magic ring and then again chain 3. the initial yarn tail to close the magic ring. Then finish with a slip stitch into the first chain space you've made at the beginning. Then leave a long tail.
Now, take the final yarn tail and wrap it few times around the bow's center. Use a darning needle and poke through the yarn tail below the wrapped yarn. Finally, make a knot to finish the bow. With this easy to follow tutorial, you can make a lot of mini bows using any type of yarn you like and any crochet hook. Thanks for watching and see you soon.